All right, all right. It's all starting to make sense to me now. Now I understand why David Hay was trying to get Pally with Joseph Parker. I suspected this could be the case anyway, but this to me just confirms it. He was trying to get Pally with Joseph Parker. Now he's been trying to get Pally with the Fury team. As you can see from these tweets on screen, Peter Fury tweeted, solid morning of business both in and out of the ring at Haymaker Ringstar. Hashtag Hey Fury. Hashtag Massive Fight Night coming. Hashtag First Defense at Mr. David Hay. And then David Hay tweeted, I received some great news. The future's looking bright. I'm healthy, motivated, and excited for this final chapter of my career. Hashtag and the new. So it looks as though, at least from an outsider's perspective, David Hay is hoping to get the winner of the Joseph Parker Huey Fury fight. That's what it looks like. That's why he's trying to butter both of these guys up. Again, I don't have any inside knowledge. I'm just an outsider looking in. But that's what it seems like to me. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it's something else. Maybe one of the fighters that Peter Fury trains or maybe manages or Mick Hennessy deals with. Maybe one of those guys is doing some business with David Hay. Maybe it's a combination of things. Maybe it's not just a Hay Fury situation where Hay might possibly get a shot at the winner of Parker Fury. Maybe it's you know, a combination of different stuff, but it is very interesting. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Now, a lot of people are surprised by this because David Hay obviously had that situation with Tyson Fury where he pulled out twice and Tyson Fury was very upset. The whole Fury team were very upset by that. So to see them doing business again now and seemingly being on good terms and giving David Hay another shot, people are scratching their heads. But I guess the world of boxing is like that. And ultimately, you get to look at the paperwork before you sign it. And if it is maybe some type of deal, uh, a broadcasting deal perhaps, because David Hay has got this deal with Dave, with Haymaker Ringstar, perhaps the uh, uh, Joseph Parker Huey Fury fight might be on Dave. You never know. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's a television deal that they've sorted out. Maybe it's not to do with David Hay fighting the winner of uh, Joseph Parker Huey Fury. But one thing I know for certain is that David Hay wants to. <laughs> There's no question that he would love to fight the winner of that fight. And of course, David Hay, up until the Tony Bellew fight, was ranked very highly with the WBO. In fact, there was a very, very strange time when. David Hay and Huey Fury were both swapping places seemingly every week in terms of who was actually the mandatory challenger for Joseph Parker. It was a very, very strange, uh, very strange situation. In fact, it might have been before Joseph Parker fought Andy Ruiz and David Hay and Huey Fury were swapping places in terms of who was going to fight the winner of that fight. So, yeah, who knows exactly what's going on, but as I say, as an outsider looking in, it certainly appears that David Hay is trying to butter up both uh, Joseph Parker and Team Fury to potentially get the winner of that fight. So, yeah, let me know what you think about this, people. Drop your comments in the comment section below. If you've got any more information which I'm not privy to, then please enlighten me. I'm all eyes, I'm all ears. All right, it's happening, I'm out.